Hello and welcome. Here's our roundup. We've had two conventions. Firstly, the Hollyhop Drive in February, an interactive weekend online with Q&As, quizzes, games, surprises, a massive lineup of guests, Chris Berry, Robert Llewellyn, Hattie Hayridge, Norman Lovett, Rob Grant, Paul Jackson, Ed By, Mac MacDonald, Mark Dexter, Tony Hawks, Matthew Clark, Colin Howard. The weekend also featured an Into the Gloop special as Rob Grant's first script since 1993, delivered virtually by fans. The script for that is available online. And there were also some very exciting ideas about a stage show, a movie, a new series, spin-offs, and even an American version again. Moving forward to September, saw convention number two with Dimension Jump 11 in Nottingham, featuring Danny John Jules, Norman Lovett, Hattie Hayridge, Rob Grant, Paul Jackson, Matthew Clark, Ian Boldsworth, and Lee Corns, with IRL debuts from Ray Fearon and Johnny Vegas, who confessed he got less love at his 50th birthday party. Great deal of fun going around, Red Dwarf Olympics, a quiz, a costume competition, two auctions, a karaoke, merchandise, stand-up comedy from Norman Lovett, a disco, a photo session, a raffle and plenty of Q&A chat. It sound like a fair amount of booze was involved too. And also a special message from Doug Naylor about some upcoming projects. A new Red Dwarf special and a brand new science fiction comedy drama. The film The Promised Land was nominated for both Best Production Design and Best Light Entertainment Television Programme in the British Film Designers Guild, uh, which we understand is very well received news by the whole team and absolute credit to those involved. The Promised Land also pulling in the largest audience for Channel Dave in a seven year period, which uh, along with the first three million years has become one of their top five most watched programmes. In cast news, Robert Llewellyn launched an online newsletter, Robert's Polite Apologetic Rants. It's a bits and bobs blog, insights, book excerpts, wonderings and such. That's via Substack. Robert intends to be writing more novels, updating his man in the rubber mask Red Dwarf memoirs by way of audiobook, the recording of which is already underway. And we've seen loads of Craig Charles on TV. In competition on ITV's Britain's Brightest Celebrity Family, on the mockumentary Meet the Richardsons, you can catch that on UK TV Play, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and hosting Moneybags, and that ran for a month on Channel 4 at the end of the year. Rewind to summertime, and we had Norman Lovett back on the stand-up game that was in support of the campaign against Living Miserably. Summertime also saw the release of Rob Grant and Andrew Marshall's Radio 4 sci-fi comedy, The Quanderhorn Collection. That's the first two series and over nine hours of bonus features. That's currently on Audible. And in further radio news, the Nether Regions was recorded live at the Shaw Theatre in London for a full series. Uh, that's Rob Grant writing with Andrew Marshall. We'll be keeping an eye out for that. Finally, some sad news reporting the death of Stephen Critchlow in September. Stephen played Captain Herring in Series 11 and has been described as an absolute pleasure to have had at Dimension Jump with comments on how charismatic and funny he was. And looking ahead to 2022, we've got The British Empire starring Chris Barry streaming via Britbox. Danny John Jules will be touring theatres with an adaptation of The Da Vinci Code until April 2022 and Chloe Annett will be appearing at MCON 22 in Nottingham in May. That's it for this time. See you later, smegheads.